Hey guys, welcome back to another sublimation tutorial slash wash test. I really love making these tutorials for you guys and I appreciate you guys supporting our channel. I had a lot of people comment on my video about a year ago where I did sublimation on glitter vinyl and I had a few people comment asking where the wash test was. So I thought I would go ahead and make this video for you guys. So today I'm going to be sublimating on this heavy blend Gildan hoodie. And it is Selena's hoodie, so it's just a toddler size hoodie. And the material is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And if you guys are new to sublimation, it is best to sublimate on 65% polyester or more just to get those colors really vibrant. So be sure that you have 65% polyester or higher, unless you are doing like I'm doing in this video today, where I will be sublimating directly to the glitter HTV. You can also sublimate to glow in the dark vinyl. I would only recommend sublimating onto glow in the dark vinyl if you don't mind that image glowing in the dark. So I do like to do the scary shirts during Halloween with the glow in the dark HTV. And then obviously you can also sublimate to Easy Subly, which I did do a tutorial a few months ago. If you guys wanna check out that video, I will try to link it down below as well. But anyway, back to today's video, I will be sublimating onto Glitter HTV. And this is the Glitter HTV that I will be using. It is just regular white Glitter HTV. You can also use the White Rainbow Glitter HTV and also other lighter colors of Glitter HTV, just depending on what color your design is. So if you're doing like an LOL design, you could do a light pink Glitter HTV. But if you don't want any color on the background, I would definitely recommend the White Glitter HTV. There is a con, obviously you will not want to use this glittery HTV on a man's shirt or a boy's shirt. So that is the only problem with using the Glitter HTV. It will make the design really glittery. And let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I went ahead and came over to my computer and I do have Cricut Design Space opened up. And I'm gonna go right over here to New Project. And we're gonna go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, drag and drop file here, or you can browse. I will be just grabbing my design from my desktop and dropping right here. Right over here and we have a simple moderately complex or complex and I always just click complex and then continue there are more advanced editing options over here on this side you could remove the background or do an automatic background removal but since our design is very simple and basic and everything looks great to me I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and continue it says select upload types so you have your cut image and then you have print and cut I'm gonna go ahead and do print and cut because I do have to print out and cut the sublimation paper. Image will be right here in recent uploads. Add to canvas. And I did see this PNG really large just because I wanted to make sure I kept all the quality. And you can see the little exclamation point here. And it says image to large, reduce image size to 6.75 by 9.25 or less. So I went ahead and changed the width to 6.75 and the lock automatically changed this proportion right here or this height to 9.182. So this one right here is our print then cut, print then cut, and this is for the sublimation paper. And then we need to duplicate this and make it a cut only. And that is, so I'm just gonna click this. Once we have our image selected, we go ahead and duplicate. And now we have two of them. Select this second one, go over here to the operation. We're gonna change that operation to a basic cut. The left one is the print then cut that we're gonna do on the sublimation paper. And then the right side is going to be for the glitter HTV. Basic cut for the HTV, print then cut for our sublimation paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out the HTV. So I want to make the second action, the print then cut, invisible. So I will click this little eyeball and make it invisible. And now we just have our basic cut for the HTV. Make it. We're gonna cut on the 12 by 12 mat. And I won't have to mirror this because it is just a rectangle. You will need to mirror both the basic cut and also the print then cut. But right now we are just doing a rectangle. So this is okay without mirroring it. I will have to mirror the sublimation design. And I do have my glitter HTV already on this Cricut mat. And for the glitter HTV, you might want to adjust the dial. You can go right over to custom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do glitter iron on. Or if you do have a design that has little edges that have to be cut, be sure that you do turn on the mirror. I'm 
and to make this one invisible and go to our second action which is print and cut and we're going to click the eyeball and make it visible. Project copies one, print then cut, eight and a half by 11 letter size. And we are going to mirror it. And I'm using the A sub sublimation paper. So send to printer. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to our Epson 15,000. Copies one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the bleed and I'm going to use system dialog. And let me go tend to my dog. Basically what you have to do is move this out of the way because a lot of times this print option will come up behind Cricut Design Space. So just move this Cricut Design Space screen out of the way so that you can find this screen right here. Default settings, media quality, you want to be at best. I already flipped this over in Cricut Design Space so we don't need to flip it again. But normally with sublimation you would flip horizontally. Paper handling, scale to fit paper size, cover page, watermark, supply levels, you don't have to do anything with, and we are ready to print. And now I'm going to be sticking it onto the light grip mat. It is a blue Cricut mat. Let me grab it to cut the paper out on. You do need a light grip mat because if you put it on a regular green mat, paper will stick really badly to that mat. So be sure that you have a light grip mat to put this paper onto. I went ahead and put my design onto the Cricut mat and I just lined up all of the corners and made sure that it was all even. And I like to cut my sublimation paper on light cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed out the vinyl. And the Cricut just cut that rectangle out for me. So now I'm just taking off this edge piece that it cut off. Go ahead and take it off the mat. And here is the mat side that's gonna go onto the hoodie. And then here is our nice glittery side that's gonna go face up when we go to press it onto the hoodie. We are gonna be pressing this glitter HTV onto the hoodie at 315 degrees. Just enough time to get it tacked onto the hoodie. You don't want to overheat it because you do have to also sublimate onto the HTV. Pre-press it just so it's nice and warm and flat and we get everything even. I just press for about five seconds. Three inches down. Clear transfer paper over the top of it. Glitter side is facing you. And now we just have to get some Teflon and we're gonna press at 315 degrees for 10 seconds. We're just wanting to get it nice and tacked on. It doesn't have to be completely on there. Like I said, you still have to press the sublimation, so you do not want to overpress and burn the vinyl. And it looks so pretty. And now it's time for me to weed off the edge of this, and we will go ahead and press on the sublimation paper. Always be sure that you're cutting your sublimation paper with the light cardstock setting on the dial. 
because it just comes off super nicely every single time. And you guys can probably see this white line right here where the Cricut didn't cut exactly on the edge of the image, but I'm gonna try to line it up as best as I can with this side over here. And hopefully we can um, just avoid that whole situation right there. We're gonna take the image and we're gonna put it face down onto the vinyl and get it, and try to match up all of the edges as best as you can. Just using the Cricut brand sublimation tape or heat resistant tape. And I do have some from Amazon on the way. So I'm super excited to try out that tape. And I also linked it below if you guys wanna try it as well. And now that I got my design taped on, I do wanna take a piece of butcher paper, place it over the design, and we're gonna be pressing at 380 degrees for 50 seconds. And now it's time to show you guys. One, two, three. And I am loving it. So I just wanted to show you guys how it sounds. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of detergent and we're gonna be washing on cold. guys and here it is after the wash and it still looks amazing obviously the sweater is still wet I'm just going to hang dry it and I'm gonna let Selena wear this tomorrow but I wanted to show you guys and that is it for today I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did be sure to give me a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe we would love to have you guys anyway we'll see you guys in the next one bye